Do oh. we have to do this every time? I don't know. Uh, about to head out and get some soil samples to, uh, done and so I can get them set up and we can see what we need to start attacking for for our uh, next 2019, no, oh, 18. 18. Yeah. I'm jumping okay. a year ahead. Don't do that unless you can keep that year off my life. So, but uh, yeah, let's, let's head out there. Let's go. Let's go. Always, uh, when you do soil samples, unless you get the bags uh, that they give you, the specific bags, I think they got a wax liner or something, I don't know, maybe they don't. Uh, you need to use paper and not plastic bags to put your soil in. Um, because of the, the sweat factor, I think, is why they don't want it. They don't want it in plastic, so. I will let her hold this while I Dig my first. So the way I've seen it done, I and I cleaned my shovel off real good. You didn't want any rust or anything on it, as much or any, you know, anything on it. What you want to do is roll the first one over, and then come over here to the next one, right behind where you just dug, and then take a little slice straight down. Just like so. About six to eight inches down. And this is the piece you want to get your sample off of. Take so here's the grass right here. And you just want to take a a slice out of it. Like, like so. So, uh, let's open that bag. I'm holding, I can't open. And you don't want the grass. That's, you don't need that. So there's one. Not that I need to put this back, because this is the field I killed. Uh, but I want to get some samples out, out, out of this thing. So if I need to throw some extra potash down or anything on this, I'll, before I sprig it or seed it. I will definitely fertilize it, probably with a like a triple 17 or something like that. But if it's uh, potash or phosphorus deficient, I will make sure I get some some of that down here probably in the next you know whenever the soil sample comes back and and then uh, I'll, I'll get that put down over the winter time here and then come back and fertilize it again right before I I uh, run my cultivator over it and smooth it out right before I sprig it or seed it so you gonna label uh, well, we still got it. I still got about 10 more. I'm gonna put about 10 more of these samples in this bag and then I'll let it dry out a little bit and mix it up real good and then uh, I'll take the, a smaller sample of that to the the fertilizer people that I and they'll send it off for me And yeah, we'll label this bag um, So off for nine more out of this one field and there's probably five different sections five different fields that i will uh take samples from it doesn't it's not a huge uh i don't i don't make them fertilize each field separately and people may say why not you know and it's because it's just not doable i mean when they get busy in the busy time they can't bring me 
they, they can't bring me five to six seven different blends it's just it just wouldn't work they can barely bring me one blend <laughs> you know i mean it's uh to mix seven different that would make that would mean they'd have to make two three trips uh with different uh hoppers to to get me that blend and I, I just don't I'm lucky to get it fertilized on time every time uh, with just a really overall good blend I'm just doing this mainly to to uh, check my pH level uh, whether I need to put some winter stuff down or uh, you know what my uh, my uh, CEC level is if that's changing my organic matter that kind of stuff but uh yeah let's let's move on to the next so I wanted to show you why I was killing why I killed this field like this right here is perfectly good coastal this is really good this will this will make right here and there's quite a bit of it uh, most of the majority of the fields that way but if you uh, come right here back up uh, you can kind of see uh, I don't know if you can see the different of the textures like the there'll be the real blonde right there and then you'll get down to this this brown or this shorter stuff right here what this is that's all common this is all common this right here when it goes from this 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 coastal right here down to this right here this common it's a great for a golf course uh, or your yard but in the hay business there's there's no money in it so when there gets a, there gets to be enough of this stuff in here um, and people say stuff reverts back I, I don't uh, I don't know about that I just think common chokes everything else out because it uh, once it gets started it takes years for it to spread um, I think if it would revert it wouldn't revert back uh, as choppy as it is it would be more you would think it'd be more uniform I don't know whatever I don't that that's not something I concern myself with but that's why I ended up killing this field there was just too many of these spots out here you know probably 20% of this field or maybe more uh, you know 30% of this field is was consumed with co with common and I mean that's all your profit right there is it, it was you know is taken up by this this grass right here so anyway I'm gonna get back to uh, digging my samples and another reason I thought that was a pretty shot down there by the pond with the, the green and the blue and the blonde colors I don't know I figured <laughs> that's why we picked this area right here so anyway another I'll take another sample Even as hard as my dirt is, I, I can grow, I can grow deep roots. They just, you just can't get air to them. That's the problem. That's the whole problem. You can get water to them somewhat, but they just cannot breathe. And I take off. I only take the bottom. Four to, uh, four to six, seven, eight inches uh, and leave the top portion. You don't want to you don't want to get the top portion of the grass where like this much, you don't want that. Um, you want you want to get it down below where these roots feed at so you know how the soil is down there. At least that's how I've always been taught to do. You know, I mean, whether that's, it's not like I've taken a class on it or anything. But I've been to the school of hard knocks. Let's put it that way. And the school 
continues to knock. And I have a feeling it will always continue to knock. Just until I am in my final resting place. My, my recliner. Hopefully your final resting place will be nice, airy sand. <laughs> yeah, take my ashes and spread them in the <laughs> sand somewhere. Not in this black clay. They'll be locked up forever. One more shovel full and I will be done. It's taking about an hour, hour and a half. And we, fi we, fi we uh, filled up like four bags, four different uh, fields and uh, yeah and that's here you can see how hard this stuff is I can't even put a shovel in this stuff and I'm no little guy granted we haven't had much uh, hadn't had much rain so the ground is a little hard but it's still I mean, it's like, it's a brick. Ah, I know I keep telling y'all that, but, and when somebody says this is better growing ground, no. Maybe if you can plow it up every year, it's probably pretty good. Yeah, maybe for like Corn or, you crops. know, if you, like a crops where you plow it every year, you can kind of keep it. But you it. cannot continuously disc up a, a planted, established grass field. No. You lose, you, you would, you, you would never get to cut it. On, not to mention you would constantly be pulling up weed seeds that yeah. would be germinating. You just can't touch them like that. So you got to aerate it and... So that goes for adding sand and organic matter and all that wonderful stuff you do in gardens and landscape. This ground's so hard, it's hard to get a, hard to get a decent sample that thing so yeah it's a you know it's a battle which is why I say you know uh, sand is uh, is what you want or sandy loam yeah you know go look at the golf course next time you watch them make it and they'll dump they'll dump sand all over that thing or really loamy dirt uh, they will they will they won't be using that stuff right there I can guarantee it it's because they don't uh, till up a, a, go a golf course all the time because it would look like, you mean they aerate it, uh, but they're, you know, I can guarantee you the corporations that buy golf courses have more money than I do. So they can, they can take that hit in the beginning. And uh, if I could charge somebody $40 every time they came onto my property, or more than that, that's probably, uh, that's old school golf. It's probably a lot more now. I hadn't played golf in quite a number of years. Uh, my wife won't let me anymore. <laughs> Dick, wait. If you went to play golf, does that mean you'd be gone for hours at a time? Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she, she would like that idea now. Woohoo! She's going, yeah, ladies. Let your husband play golf. Yeah, and then meet me and we can go shopping. No, if I play golf, then I couldn't buy uh, my, my fancy work knives, like the, uh, <laughs> the, Z, the ZT0562CF. Beautiful knife. If you want a knife, a work knife, a heavy, it's not heavy, but it's a heavy duty knife, man, get you one of these. Uh, that's been fun. And you can tell I use it. You can see the blade. I mean, I sharpen it, you know, I'll sharpen it tonight or, or at some point soon. Take it apart, uh, clean it up. And But I, I use the heck out of this thing. This, this, is, this is the one that sits on the shelf. So, great knife. Uh, get you one of those. So You are such a dork. Why? <laughs> What's that? All of a sudden, you just pop out your knife and go into a spiel. You know. What are you, Ron Popeil? <laughs> Well, I can guarantee you ZT's not paying me. And I don't do cocaine like that. No, I don't. <laughs> didn't, he, didn't he get busted for drugs or something? Maybe we shouldn't boast that. That might be. 
I might get sued for that or something. <laughs> I don't know. I thought he did. He, I don't know. He died of a heart attack, right? I, you know way more about Ron than I do. Oh. <laughs> and we're not, this is not Ron from John Deere. This is, <laughs> this is Ron from the Infomercials. <laughs> I think we better end this and before we get in trouble. Um, I think we're going to go up here and uh, run through the greenhouse real quick with you and just show you. Uh, uh, I guess we had a. It's grown a little bit more since you've seen it last. So we'll go do that real quick.